Tonight, new disturbing details are emerging in the case of a nine day old girl's death in Norfolk. The baby's mother appeared in court this morning where a judge denied her bond. And meanwhile, the father also charged with murder withdrew his request for a bond hearing today. Angelique Arentoc brings us the update, but first, a warning that you may find some of the information in this report difficult to hear. Judge Robert Smith called the infant's injuries severe and numerous. He described a lack of appropriate treatment while denying bond for the baby's mother. 21-year-old Zebrea Parker is accused of abusing and killing her nine-day-old baby girl. Parker's attorney, Trevor Robinson, requested bond Tuesday. He said his client has no prior criminal record. Robinson said Parker's mother in Maryland would take her in, keep in contact, and provide transportation. Court documents say Parker and the child's father, 23-year-old Hillary Johnson II, most recently lived in a tent outdoors. Norfolk Senior Assistant Commonwealth's attorney, Michelle Newkirk, said staff at Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters reported the couple did not appear worried or upset. Norfolk police say officers responded to CHKD on May 4th to find the child unresponsive. Newkirk opposed bond, referring to Parker's checklist for bail determinations. It says the infant had severe burns on her feet, splash burns, bruises, broken ribs, and a broken clavicle. The same document says the child showed symptoms of shaken baby. According to the check Parker treated the baby with witch hazel and other home remedies. Parker's attorney tells me he believes the evidence he's seen so far does not suggest his client committed the injuries. Rather, he says he plans to argue whether Parker failed to act when it comes to medical attention for the child. Parker's next court date is July 18th. Angela Garen Talk, 13 News Now. Like Parker, the baby's father also faces felony child abuse and second degree murder charges. According to court documents, Hillary Johnson II claimed it couldn't be proved he did it because he brought the baby to the hospital. It's unclear when Johnson will appear in court.